So in, in order for, for this to happen and for all of these things to happen, you have to change your mindset. You have to change the way you live, right? You have to change the way you live. And that's, that's where, that's step one. And that's where I think we as a people, we're failing. The reason why it's difficult for people to, to boycott Christmas, the reason why it's p- difficult for people to, to buy these books or buy these products or even take the time to look up a black bank to invest in or c- prevent themselves from spending, on, spending their money on Black Friday or on New Year, those New Year's sales mm-hmm. is because we've been trained in a mindset of commercialism right. that is the foundation of living in a capitalistic society, right. right? So in order to change that, you have to change the way you think so you can change the way you live, just like anything else you do. If you want to get in shape, right, yeah. you have to change the way you think so you can change the way you live. You're just not going to start working out because you said that's what you're going to do, right? right. So what, how do you change your mindset? Because once again, I'm telling people what they need to do, mm-hmm. but I'm not telling them how. It all comes with value. There it is. That it starts with value. If you don't value anything that looks like you or resembles you or is related to you as much as you value the things that you spend your money on or the things that you spend your time on, you're not going to have a reason to change your mindset. That's right. So our people need to search for something that they value. Like I, I'm a firm believer of... If you're, let, let's take fitness, for instance. If you are not in shape and you have excuses for not being in shape, mm-hmm. it is literally the single most selfish position that you can take if you have a family. Because what you're saying right. is, although my health should be important because me being alive to be here for you when you need me should be important, what I choose to do that is unhealthy is more important. So it's about changing your mindset, and you can't do that if you don't have something that you value. It is difficult for us to look across the country at people that look like us but that we don't know and value them, right? right? So that value has to start internally. You know what I'm saying? Your kids, my kids, we have to value their future enough Mm -hmm. to say, I got to change what I'm doing because the world I'm leaving behind for them is going to be far worse than the world I'm living in now. We think it's bad now, black people. It's on the way to worse. That's right. It's on the way to worse. That's right. Unless you change your actions, change your thinking. And what we're talking about is how. All right, I know you're looking for some, you might have missed it. <laughs> Honestly, you just might have missed it in everything that he said because you were you had your pen and paper and you didn't write nothing down because you were looking for the 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 in the the step-by-step guide to 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 million to millionaire status okay go back step one value change your value system and i guarantee you by that change alone will start to lead you to the price excuse me lead you to the goal in which you're envisioning if it's debt free start to value being debt free start to value something bigger than yourself like he just said okay we'll go we'll give you on later shows the step-by-step pieces in order to get to that millionaire status but if you don't get this one first i can tell you the rest and it ain't gonna make a difference that's real and and i said two two things right i said now one i said discipline discipline is difficult it is difficult it is what makes soldiers effective it is what makes millionaires effective is because they do what needs to be done over what they want to do first all the time discipline is there and the root of discipline is value find something that you value now now the second thing that's very very important and i don't think we take enough time to reflect on it is our why our why is the single most important thing that reflects on who we are and who we're trying to be our why now, what do I mean by our why? Yep, and let me stop you. Don't over, don't, don't miss that because people are going to miss it. Why is a root of value? Okay, discipline, value, sub bullet why. Right. Write it right. down, just like that. That's right. Here's here's why the why is important because everything that you want to do that you've ever been successful at, 
you had at the at the base of that a why. Whether it was chasing women or chasing money, you had a why. I want that new chain. Mm-hmm. So I want it so bad. I'm going to hustle. I'm going to work overtime. I'm going to do what I got to do. Maybe I even get in them streets and I, and I do what I got to do to get that paper, mm-hmm. right? Or I want this, I want this chick to notice me. So I'm going to do everything I can. I'm going to change my clothes. I'm going to change the way I walk. I'm going to change the way I talk because I want this broad to notice me, mm-hmm. right? That's your why. And your why is what drives you when she says, oh, I'm not interested, to keep coming back. That's it. Right? That's it's the it. why that's always at the root of, of, of everything. But a lot of us don't take the time to even think about our why. Why do you wake up in the morning? Why? Like, why? And I guarantee you, at the, at the base of your why will be your value. There it is. That's how you figure out what you value. I wake up in the morning because I love my family. So at the base of my, at my value is my family. That's the way it works, and that's how you figure it out. So we say it step by step. That is a step by step. Figure out why you wake up in the morning. Because a lot of people wake up and don't know. They live from day to day to day. And it's hard to live from day to day to day. It always keeps you behind. We always say, mm-hmm. what's, what's one of our most favorite things to say? This is chess, chess not, not checkers, checkers. Right? This is chess, mm-hmm. not checkers. What's the difference between chess and checkers? Let me break this down for you real quick, because a lot of people don't get that statement. Checkers is about move to move. It's about what am I going to do today, figuring that out right now. That's what checkers is. I'm not thinking about what I'm going to do later on. Chess is about I've already figured out move number six before the game even started. That's why the best checker players are chess players. There it is. There it is. So, again. In subsequent videos, we will continue to lay out steps, and we'll get them, them, them financial steps for you as well as the fitness steps, so on and so forth. But if you don't get this base message right here, that's real. Then there's no way you can move forward. Okay. I always say, and I'm gonna end it on this one as I wrap it up. The price that my people pay is too high to be seduced by any discount. Okay. The price that my people pay is too high to be seduced by any discount. Go out as you digest what we just said, and I don't care how much it is, how much more it is, spend your dollar with your people. My name's G. Williams, yo. I'm out. Oh, you want me? I can, oh, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can do that. So I'll just say it real quick. I'll do this. Uh pair of Gucci shoes, $300, right? Pair of, uh, I don't know, uh, what, some Ferragamo slacks, $750. Price of freedom, financial security, true equality, and a genuine opportunity at a dream that should be there for you, priceless. Priceless. I'm G. Lewis. I'm out.